The global advisor, senior market strategist, and the great ACNBC reporter, Rick Santelli. Rick Santelli, I hear you're going soft. I hear you really think that the gold thing is just a big fluke. Not a fluke, Larry. I, I don't dismiss the notion that gold technically looks like it wants to do better or there's some traders out there that want to buy it. But I think if you want to read more into it regarding dire straits for any type of news in the next couple of days, inflation changed over the last three days. I don't think it's economic. I think it's just a commodity trade. Oh, Rick, you're breaking my heart, and I'm not a gold bug, but you squished the heart of gold bugs all across the land. Don't you know that gold is rising because real interest rates are plummeting? Oh, come on. Look I at agree the, no, with no, wait, that. Hold on a second, Rick. Have you looked at the ISM prices paid components ah, we for have a manufacturing picture. and non-manufacturing? This is a hang on. Just pause for one minute. I know you're on a roll. I don't want to stop you, but you'll recover. <laughs> the fact of the matter is the ISM reports prices paid have really, really surged. Now, what we've done here, though, we've taken the ISM services report out today. It was a good number, almost 50. The uh, prices paid uh, is jumping up to uh, almost 65. 65. Now, notice in the last six months, the prices paid component has risen along with oil. So I want to ask you, Mr. Pinto, is this just an oil thing no. or is it a broader no. gold commodity there easy six, money there thing? Are because I think that's news. We had ISM right. prices right. on the manufacturing. Same thing. They're in the 60s. It's, that came look, out of the blue. The copper is, is up it? 80 percent this year. Okay. And the, there are 16 commodities in the CRB index. They're all rising. Is it just the fact that the dollar's down 13 percent, Rick? I mean, why don't you understand that inflation is a salient issue? And I will tell you this, Mr. Santelli, and I love you, by the way. I hate to argue with you because I'm a big fan. But I'll tell you this, come December, oil, instead of being down 50%, will be up 100% year over year. And it's 40%, commodities, are 40% of the CPI calculation. And, it, and the, uh, the rate of uh, inflation will be higher than the 10-year note. And what is Gentle Ben or Banana Ben going to do then? You're preaching to the choir. Nobody thinks deficits are more important than I do. Inflation will show up and it'll surprise people. I agree with all that. But I'm a market detective, okay? What's changed in the last three days? If we're trying to look at gold activity in the last three days and draw conclusions on any one of the fronts that it's you brought catch up, up, it doesn't hold. The ISM data oh, came out come on. yesterday what, what, and what today. What about the dollar? The dollar the last couple days doing nothing. You're the comparing the end, dollar the against end. a basket of six other flawed fiat companies. Currencies. Look at the dollar versus, versus Look at oil. Three Look at the chart dollar gold. versus gold. Look at and let me tell you something. If you're going to do a Phillips curve analysis like our friends at the Federal Reserve, you're going to be you know, way late to take away the punch bowl. It is, uh, it is Nobody interesting, Nobody ever Rick. talks Rick. about the punch bowl Rick. more than me. The reality, though, is, is that everybody's looking at gold in the last 72 hours, and I contend it's a technical breakout. But you know what, Rick? All of that into Rick. it isn't real. All right, Rick, let's put technical side for a minute. It is interesting, though that the prices paid numbers on these two ISM, ISMs are very important. They're predicting economic recovery. But the prices paid numbers all of a sudden jumped into the 60s. And it really is the last couple of days we got these new reports. And I want to ask you, Rick, it may be a long shot. What are the chances that with all this easy money from the Fed, and the Fed has, by the way, added another $100 billion to their Monetary balance sheet base. in the last couple of weeks, is it possible we are looking at an easy money blowout V-shaped recovery that no one is anticipating? Is that part of this gold catch-up message? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not buying it, How Mr. How can you K. be so? Well, my penetration no. causes too much money chasing too few goods, and we devalue the currency, okay? But I think that's part of the risk. I mean, the massive federal deficits, mm -hmm. the easy money from the Fed, the Fed hasn't stopped printing dollars. No, they just they increased continue. the base by a, a hundred billion. It may be billion. just now showing up in some of the data points. Exactly. I called it this morning an, an incipient inflation concern. And I call it an insidious. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm just Listen, saying if, that if, could if, explain if 2000, if a 1% Fed funds rate in 2003, 2004 right. w blew up the whole real estate market, what is 0% for the rest of my lifetime? Which I hope is a long Rick time. Rick Santelli, how can we be sure, on Pento's point, that a zero interest rate in 2009 won't have the same inflationary bubble, which would include gold, as it did a 1% interest rate back in 2003, Rick? How I think it'll be, be worse. Sure? I think it'll well, be so worse. Then, well, then gold is behaving. Gold is behaving in a rational way. Yes. It's it's not behaving in a rational way, Larry, because a month ago or three weeks ago, gold wasn't 
the center of attention. It's the last three days, and I contend that all the relevant issues, I agree with our guests, and for the most part, other than the V Recovery, agree with you, but to draw conclusions, why are you talking about gold? You're talking about it because of the last three days, and what I'm telling you is ETF shakeups, CFTC rulings, all of these things are shaking up into a market that probably had a lot of big shorts in it, and it's just a commodity move. Don't look at gold for fundamental revelations because you're going to be disappointed. Gold thrives in negative real interest rates. It's they are just plummeting, a metal. Rick. It's and not the dollar anything has lost thirteen percent of its value it's since here. March. And that's a it's a huge decrease in the value yeah, I mean, and the is, purchasing power of our country's. It, it is country. interesting. Just to put some information. Has a Hang negative on a future. Just to put some information on this. Year to date, gold is up twelve percent. Okay. I know we've had a three week move. We never had much of a drop. We can put a long term chart of gold up there. By the just way. Put one week we, of the dollar, one week of gold, and one week of 30 okay, year expand rates. Expand your time, you, you, you can put a long term five or six year. Gold's been in a pretty strong pattern for many years. And put a 10 year look, chart of the dollar. Copper has doubled. The CRB is up 8%. Gold is up 12%. Crude oil is up 23%. I mean, in a sense, it's all marching together. Mike Pento, don't we have a global monetary boom? Monetary boom. China, look at the China on. PMI was through I the mean, roof, too. I mean, maybe there's a rejection of money and a move into gold, which could run could run this baby we've seen oh, I think this it's story gonna, before i think it goes to twelve hundred dollars you do twelve hundred unless bernanke raises rates which i don't think soon. i think it's about a one percent he should start that. soon he should have started last year snuggie rick santelli how high is gold what's gold's next move rick santelli the next big move in gold's going to be a sell-off after they get the <laughs> last long in and the buy stops it over a thousand by the way rick santelli treasury bonds are rallying down to 330 what's that all about well there you go it's telling you that gold is really off yeah, on its the own bigger market is the current Currency market, it's, it's much bigger than the bond market, right. and that's and telling you that three dollar days, the is dollar going yen, down. The dollar pound, the dollar Swiss, nothing's moved the last three days. Not buying the gold story, but oh, I will tell on. you, Larry. Ten years of, a, of a When's the sell-off? When's the sell-off in government bonds coming, Rick Santelli, that gets it to four, four and a half percent? Well, I think that it's just a horrible scenario that we are sending these horrible messages for fiscal irresponsibility, watching the debt grow, watching the issuance grow, and watching rates go down. And their whole but plan they, to pay yes. for it is inflation, Rick. Absolutely. And you know it. Absolutely. So go buy yourself right. some but gold, my friend. In the last and you know I love you, but I'm not, I'm not angry with you. I love you, Rick. I day traders, day traders are an some economist. Gold. They're day traders. I got to tell you, fiscal nymphomania and easy money, man, that spells G-O-L-D. <laughs> Here comes the money. Here we go.